Welcome to the Al Jazeera channel where you will learn inventory management as a core operations management activity. After discussing the meaning of inventory, and recognizing its importance, kinds, cost, and classification system let we learn the inventory ordering policies. Inventory ordering policies address the two basic issues of inventory management, which are how much to order and when to order. A number of models are described that are used for these issues. Inventory that is intended to meet expected demand is known as cycle stock, while inventory that is held to reduce the probability of experiencing a stockout, i.e., running out of stock, due to demand and slash or lead time variability is known as safety stock. The discussion begins with the issue of how much to order. The question of how much to order can be determined by using an economic order quantity, or EOQ, model. EOQ models identify the optimal order quantity by minimizing the sum of certain annual costs that vary with order size and order frequency. Three order size models are described here. The basic economic order quantity model. The economic production quantity model. And the quantity discount model. Let us start with the first model. The basic economic order quantity model is the simplest of the three models. It is used to identify a fixed order size that will minimize the sum of the annual costs of holding inventory and ordering inventory. The basic model involves a number of assumptions. These are Only one product is involved. The annual demand requirements are known. The demand is spread evenly throughout the year so that the demand rate is reasonably constant. Lead time is known and constant. Each order is received in a single delivery. And there are no quantity discounts. This figure illustrates several inventory cycles. A cycle begins with the receipt of an order of Q units, which are withdrawn at a constant rate over time. When the quantity on hand is just sufficient to satisfy demand during lead time, an order for Q units is submitted to the supplier. Because it is assumed that both the usage rate and the lead time do not vary, the order will be received at the precise instant that the inventory on hand falls to zero. Thus, orders are timed to avoid both excess stock and stockouts. Two of the inventory costs that we studied in the last video are the carrying or holding and ordering costs. Let us focus on these two costs. Annual carrying cost is computed by multiplying the average amount of inventory on hand by the cost to carry one unit for one year. The average inventory is simply half of the order quantity, the amount on hand decreases steadily from Q units to zero, for an average of Q minus zero divided by two or Q divided by two. Using the symbol H to represent the average annual carrying cost per unit, the total annual carrying cost is Q multiplied by H divided by two. Where Q is the order quantity in units and H is the holding, or carrying, cost per unit per year. Carrying cost is thus a linear function of Q and directly proportioned to changes in the order quantity Q. On the other hand, annual ordering costs will decrease as order size increases because, for a given annual demand, the larger the order size, the fewer the number of orders needed. In general, the number of orders per year will be D divided by Q, where D is the annual demand and Q is the order size. Because the ordering cost is treated as a constant. Annual ordering cost is a function of the number of orders per year and the ordering cost per order. So, the annual ordering cost equals D multiplied by S divided by Q. Where D is the demand, usually in units per year and S is the ordering cost per order. Because the number of orders per year, D divided by Q, decreases as Q increases, annual ordering cost is inversely related to order size. The total annual cost associated with carrying and ordering inventory when Q units are ordered each time is TC equals annual carrying cost plus annual ordering cost equals Q multiplied by H divided by 2 plus D multiplied by S divided by Q. The total cost curve is U-shaped or convex, with one minimum, and it reaches its minimum at the quantity where carrying and ordering costs are equal. An expression for the optimal order quantity can be obtained using calculus. The result is the formula. Q0 equals the square root of 2 multiplied by D multiplied by S divided by H. Thus, given annual demand, the ordering cost per order, and the annual carrying cost per unit, one can compute the economic order quantity. The minimum total cost is then found by substituting Q0 for Q in the total cost formula. 
Let us now solve an example. A local distributor for a national tire company expects to sell approximately 9,600 steel belted radial tires of a certain size and tread design next year. The annual carrying cost is $16 per tire, and the ordering cost is $75. The distributor operates 288 days a year. What is the EOQ? How many times per year does the store reorder? What is the length of an order cycle? What is the total annual cost if the EOQ quantity is ordered? So, the givens are D equals 9,600 tires per year H equals $16 per unit per year and S equals $75 We know that EOQ or Q0 equals the square root of 2 multiplied by D multiplied by S divided by H Substitute by the given values so Q0 equals 300 tires to answer the second question, simply divide the annual demand D by the economic order quantity Q0. So, the number of orders per year is D divided by Q0 equals 9600 divided by 300 equals 32 orders. To find the length of the order cycle we have to divide Q0 by D and multiply the result by the number of working days in a year. The length of the order cycle equals 300 divided by 9600 equals 1 over 32 year. Multiply this result by 288 equals 9 working days. The last question is to calculate the total cost if the EOQ is ordered. We know that TC equals Q0 multiplied by H divided by 2 plus D multiplied by S divided by Q0. Substitute by the given and calculated values. TC equals 300 multiplied by 16 divided by 2 plus 9600 multiplied by 75 divided by 300 equals $4,800. After solving this example let us solve a problem. A large bakery buys flour in 25 pound bags. The bakery uses an average of 1,215 bags a year. Preparing an order and receiving a shipment of flour involves a cost of $10 per order. Annual carrying costs are $75 per bag. Determine the economic order quantity. What is the average number of bags on hand? How many orders per year will there be? Compute the total cost of ordering and carrying flour. If holding costs were to increase by $9 per year, how much would that affect the minimum total annual cost? The givens in this problem are the annual demand D equals 1,215 the order cost S equals $10, and the holding cost H equals $75. The first question is, determine the economic order quantity. Recalling the equation used to calculate the economic order quantity. Q0 equals the square root of 2 multiplied by D multiplied by S divided by H. Substitute by the given values of D, S, and H. Q0 equals the square root of 2 multiplied by 1215 multiplied by 10 divided by 75. This equals 18 bag. So, the economic order quantity equals 18 bags. The second question is what is the average number of bags on hand? To find the average number of bags on hand we have to divide Q0 by 2. It is equal to 18 divided by 2 equal 9. So, the average number of bags on hand is 9 bags. The third question is, how many orders per year will there be? Simply, the number of orders per year equals the annual demand divided by the economic order quantity. Equal 1215 divided by 18 equals 67.5 approximately equals 68 orders. So, the number of orders per year is 68 orders. The next question is, compute the total cost of ordering and carrying flour. The total cost TC equals Q multiplied by H divided by 2 plus D multiplied by S divided by Q. Substitute by the given values of D, S, and H, and the calculated value of Q0. This results in TC equals 18 multiplied by 75 divided by 10 plus 1215 multiplied by 10 divided by 18 equal $1,350. So, the total cost of ordering and carrying flour is $1,350. The last question is to find the change in the minimum total cost if the holding cost increased by $9, which means that H is $84 instead of $75.
To answer this, we have to recalculate the Q0 corresponding to the new value of H. So, Q0 equals the square root of 2 multiplied by D multiplied by S divided by H equals the square root of 2 multiplied by 1215 multiplied by 10 divided by 85. This equals 17 bags. And the corresponding minimum total cost is TC equals 17 multiplied by 84 divided by 10 plus 1215 multiplied by 10 divided by 17 equal $1,429. This value is higher than the previous one by $79. Consequently, if the holding cost increases by $9 the minimum total cost will increase by $79. One solved example is explained and another problem is solved to illustrate the basic economic order quantity model. If you need more details or more solved problem do not hesitate to contact me. In the next video, the economic production model will be explained. So. Keep following us. If you did not do yet subscribe to the Al Jazeera channel and activate the alarm to be notified of the new videos. See you again.